I don't know about you, but I personally love to have a, a film simulation already inside the camera. Before it was an exclusive from Fujifilm, but now finally we have it in all our Lumix S cameras. And yes, I'm talking about the new El Neo picture profile. That if you look it uh, uh, straight out from the camera, it looks a little bit washed out and not that great. But with some tweaks, I really love the JPEGs that are coming out uh, from the camera without any post-production. Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna talk about the El Neo picture profile that is available on the Lumix S5 since it came out, but by now it's also available for the Lumix S1 and S1R. I'm not sure about the S1H, I think it was present already when it came out, but yeah, basically now all the Lumix S cameras have this picture profile and the great thing about this picture profile is that if you love the analog or film look in your pictures, uh, with this picture profile you already have it straight out from the camera. You need to change a couple of settings to achieve uh, uh, what I think a good image straight out from the camera. Because at the first sight this picture profile looks really washed out, uh, sort of a flat profile with a weird uh, dynamic range and I think it looks uh, pretty brighter uh, if you leave it standard. So uh, with these little tweaks that I've been testing for almost three weeks I can tell you that uh, the JPEGs you're gonna get from your camera, they're gonna look uh, pretty good, if you love the film look. I wouldn't use this picture profile for video because it has a pretty strong uh, look that uh, you may like or not, and the dynamic range is pretty limited, so keep in mind that if you wanna film video, uh, it's always better to film in CineB, CineD or HLG or Vlog if you have time to color grade, or if you wanna use my LUT, there is a in the description. If you want to know what I changed in this picture profile, I will share with you now. I increased the contrast to plus 3, highlights to minus 3, shadows to minus 3, saturation to plus 3, and hue to plus 1, so a little bit more on the magenta side, uh, a little bit of uh, film grain, and uh, I turn off the color noise. Uh, so I have just luminance noise, so a normal film grain and not color grain that looks a little bit weird in my opinion. Uh, sharpness to minus five and noise reduction to minus five. This is my personal preference, but you can play around and adjust the picture profile how you like, it's up to you. Let me know in the comment below if you like this picture profile. I would like to know your feedback. In my opinion it's great, it's working great for me, but uh, yeah, I understand that maybe it doesn't work for you. But this is it for today guys, I hope I'll see you next time. Ciao!